Well, here we are. More river to landslide trip. Pretty excited. Well, lots of little tight spots. We have to go around where we actually get our cars in some serious water. Keep watching. Gilderton, also referred to as Moor River, is a one hour drive north of Perth. Its tiny town is well known for an amazing caravan park located right where the river mouth meets the sea. I'm going to show you how we drove 40 kilometers north to Lancelin only using the beach four drive tracks. Well, we made it to Moor River. We're gonna go for a bit of an adventure, but for now, we're just at Moor River, checking it out, seeing what's going on. And it's pretty beautiful yeah, today. Yeah, sands are meant to be here. How can you four drive it here? We obviously can't full drive right here, Damien. We're going to go onto the beach. Oh, yeah. Giant lollipop! All right, this is the entry to the beach. We're going to start here and see if we can get to Lancelin. That's pretty cool. It's the first bit north of Moor River that you can actually full drive on so luckily we're at low tide so we got plenty of room but the beach is already pretty close so I don't think you get up here in high tide it's all looking nice and firm at the moment so no dramas but... Looking super great, but I think we're gonna make it. This should be exciting. Gonna have to go between some water and gotta give it a time and we'll see how we go.
a good spot to let the kids out, have a bit of a walk around, just a bit of a swim. As you can see, they've taken their walk around swim seriously. And just noticing these cool rocks here. Look at this. It's like limestone. And then it's got all these cool rocks on it. Pretty neat. It's massive too. But so many little hidey holes. I'm a deep cave tallala. Liam's found himself a tunnel. You should go explore it, take the camera. Liam, the tunneler. Again. 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 It's really cool. Funny spider web. Look at the other side. Alright, let's go. Just go slowly. Rocks are shut. Oh Forgot to bring my Japanese safety boots. Wow, look at that. Look at that big drop. Whoa. This bit's all ready to go down with the rest of them. Yeah. play, a bit of a swim, a bit of a look around those cool rocks and caves, and now we're off down the beach again. Still nice and hard, which is great, nice near the water, still at fairly low tide, so yeah, blast along and going towards Lanson. This is what we're looking at. Doing about 50, 60 k's an hour, nice and easy, not really pushing the car too much. Just let me put a rock in front of you, mate. It was a very windy day so we stopped behind these rocks to have a little bit of lunch before we headed off and continued our way to Lancelin. And now straight up that hill, thanks Ben. Oh yeah, okay, alright. There's nothing over top. Woo! Um, yeah. Alright, we're blocked down that way. So we're going to try this hill here. Pretty steep bit of hole but we'll see how we go. Control kicking in. Oh, is it gonna get up? Maybe. No. So we've just popped inland um, to avoid some water that's coming up, and we're just cruising along just above the beach, following our noses. It's pretty easy. Just take the all the left tracks and as close to the beach as we can get. down past a tiny little shack and now we're back on the beach again heading toward ledge I believe pretty cool fall driving adventure having a great time so far what do you reckon boys yeah. mm -hmm. this is a bit that we didn't just try pretty sure we would have made it down onto the beach anyway probably could have just driven down but it's all right we'll keep everybody safe and happy up on the edge now the tides coming up a bit a bit harder to go down in the nice hard stuff as we want to do. We've reached ledge point. We're just going to have to pop out here because there's some rocks. We'll pop out, go around and then come back again. Alright. We went through the town and we found ourselves a um another way in. 
We can see his ear, this is Naomi's favourite bit. Handbrake still on. And we made it to Lancelin. That's uh, Lancelin Back Beach. Um, yeah, this is where we've come out. So we've made it to, to our destination. Time to go to the local bakery and get us a reward for our hard journey. That's the main goal. Come to the bakery in Lancelin. Ooh. What do you reckon, Jeremy? Yeah! That's what I reckon too. Yeah, some donuts. Yes! Yes, what'd you get me? What'd you get me? Donnies! Donnies! Woo! Best part of this trip so far. <laughs> no, not really. Pretty good, but what'd you get, mate? What? Oh, that looks awesome! Oh, that won't make you guys hyper at all. Oh, hello, everyone. We made it to Lancelin finally. It's pretty awesome. We had a good time for driving. I enjoyed it. I think it's a great trip. I'd do it again any day. I reckon it's even better than the Lancel to Wedge trip. Lots of nice hard sand and some exciting forward driving around the rocks where there's some water. I'd recommend going at low tide. High tide you'll end up going up and over a lot. Here we are at the dunes. Oh man it's blowing a gale out here. Windy as heck. we've done all year. Right, go everyone! Oh no! to see who can get their tyres pumped up the fastest. Pretty sure I'm gonna win because I've only got small tyres. Hey daddy! Hey buddy! Now for all you guys who are thinking man driving in the ocean won't you get your car all rusty and full of salt water? Yeah I will but luckily my family bought this cool little swivel head that allows me to get in. Wow! up and under all the little nooks and crannies to get all that nice ocean sand and salt out yeah i'm probably not going to get all of it but hey if you can't have a great time in your four-wheel drive what have you even got one for and that's pretty much it for the end of this video see you guys on the next one